Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another first try. Today we are going to take a look at Cubasis, a strategy game that is turn-based and in which resource balancing is your best friend. The game was developed by a studio called Wonderful Tree Studio. Its original release date was the 20th of February this year. And now it is on Steam. It didn't go for Greenlight because it is published by Wastelands Interactive in this case. For some reason. <laughs> Who brought you titles like World War II, Storm Over the Pacific or Strategic War in Europe. So basically a publisher that focuses mainly on publishing strategy games. So, before we go into the game itself, we'll take a look at the options menu first, which is not there. Also, funny note, I can clearly hear the music being turned off, don't you? <laughs> so sometimes there are a bunch of mistakes, to put it that way. You can choose a resolution here, but it will display it in a non-full screen mode if you choose full screen. The game adjusts its resolution to the resolution of your screen. Yes, indeed. So, I've gone through the tutorial, it's, which, is, which is, by the way, uh, mandatory. Mandatory? If you want to go <laughs> to the campaign or the game mode Lycaeus Revenge. I don't even know. So, let's take to the campaign. Yeah, thank you. This looks to me like a debug message. Uh, you could remove it in the final release, you know. That would be a plus. So, if I don't want to play this mission, I can sacrifice a golden calf, if I so desire. And I can reclaim them in these levels. But let's go to the basics. Let's start this mission. So, there you get your introduction to the mission. One thing I have to say, it, that the text looks kind of blurry a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and basically you can read the introduction of his desire. So, welcome to the wonderful land, or the wonderful world in this case. So, left side, of the left hand side you have your objectives. I have to find four treasures, which by the way are these golden balls as well. I don't know about you, but in a tutorial I basically want to know what I have to do, you know, you can show me that this is a treasure, in fact. Because I uh, stuck on a mission for um, three to four times, just because I didn't know that these were treasures. And some mes messages like, try it out for yourself, you get to know it, herb derp, are not going to help in any way, shape or form. <gasps> I was quite furious. <laughs> to say the least. By the way, the game runs at 30 FPS, but since this is a strategic game, no, that doesn't make any sense, <laughs> since it is a turn-based game, this doesn't really matter that much. So, you have the resources, you have the QBs, which are not to be mistaken for the 8-bit animated animals that I go to the Oktoberfest from time to time. No, these are the citizens here who are going to die in several different ways. You can either let them drown if you go to the sea, or you can make something useful out of them. For example, I can build a city if I so desire. Whee! Wonderful. Um, with others I can go and explore. One thing 
if you bought this game you will notice is that the right mouse button is here to end your turn. It's not meant to be used in a way for movement. That's done via the left mouse button. It's quite unintuitive and it might get a lot... Uh, it will get a lot of getting used to it, but... Once you get a hang out of it... It shouldn't be that much of a problem anymore. So as you can see, Cubis die when I build cities, Cubis die when I grow crops, and Cubis die if I want to lower the level of a block by one unit and get one stone out of it. Hmm, suicidal. As you can also see, now I basically have no population currently because one Cubi is in the making which is quite odd how this works, because out of nothing comes a QB. No, it comes out of grain. So I assume that a microbiological process that is somehow um, started with grain and then some mitosis is going on, I, I don't really know. And I don't really care to be honest, but it's a nice theory to be had. So, we grow our cubies. And we can build granaries in order to increase the amount of grain we can have as a maximum. So you can see the resource costs increase after each time we build a building. I don't want to scroll down here, come on. And yeah, that's that's the obvious thing to know when it comes to resources. I'm now going to skip some turns because you can see grain is produced and grain is reduced. I gain grain through growing crops on the field and I lose grain when I produce... Uh, no, when cubes are produced, it's a passive thing, you know. And each time, each turn, it costs me more and more. Because when I have a 0 0.9 QB, then it costs me 0 0.9 grain. But I also get 0 0.9 gold, which are not displayed in any way, shape, or form. But that's not a problem. So, as you can see, our QB is there, and we are going to pass some turns. As you can see as well, the grain has grown green. So many G words. Wow. Which means it needs some water in order to grow. Well, speaking of water, cubes cannot walk over water. They are not cheeses. So how how the hell did we get to the golden balls, you might ask? Well, one way would be to freeze the ocean. But since I can't build the building, which is required for doing this, I will have to make the sea go away. Well, how do I do this? Well, simple answer, there is a god for this. Ikirch. He basically takes a look at the cubies to church's rate and decides, well, if too many cubies are there, well, I am going to flood them. If you have built many churches, though, he will say, well, I will let the water go away this time. This is decided all every 20 to 30 turns. And depending on the way, depending on the difference, it goes faster or slower, and the effects are more dramatic. We have another god as well, Lee Kyle. And you need buildings that are called manures. What this does is, if you have zero manures, the temperature is going to increase extremely. If you have one manure, which I don't see in this level, but... I seem to have it anyway, so yeah, thank you. The temperature should be stable, which is a sign that in fact this is not true. And if I have two or more menus, the temperature is going to drop. Another two. <laughs> and that's basically it. To take a look at 
what the objective is and how to obtain it. The resource balancing and so on and so forth is basically then the puzzle element, which is what it claims on the Steam page as well, to have some puzzle elements in it. So basically the objectives make the, ra the conditions for the puzzles. And you have to decide how you do it. So... Well, let's build a church against the flood. For the rod. And basically the game goes on and on. I can build another granary. And I can then lose some fields. And basically you see the temperature has risen. Which is not healthy. If the temperature goes too high, the cubes are going to die, the crops are going to going to burn. Basically, you see they are highly productive now, they are going to be even more productive, but after some time they are going to burn and burn the cubes as well. So there is a time limit based, basically, what you have to keep in mind as well. And that's basically the entirety of the game. For some reason I don't seem to can be able to plan turns ahead because that is relatively crucial and is shown in an own tutorial. He can plan up to seven turns ahead for a QB. And I've encountered a bug there which went basically this way. I've planned about four to five turns for my QB and then decided to do something in a turn that is within these five turns. Basically building something or go a level down or a level up. What then happened is a dialogue came up asking me to do asking me to if I want to make it now or if I want to postpone it and make it basically in a way that I go those five turns and go back then the other turns. If you click on go uh, do now, then the game crashes. So that's something to keep in mind. If you encounter this dialogue, don't click on do it now, otherwise your game is going to crash. So, is there anything else to say? Not really, in my opinion, so let's go to the conclusion. Let's, let's jump to conclusions, because that's what the internet is good at now. That was just dumb. <laughs> So, after the things I've told you now, the concerns in the tutorials that the tutorial is not fairly well, and frustrating at times, and the, the controls are unusual to say the least. If you come over these struggles then I think you might be able to have quite a nice time with this game. If you are driven away by this then well the game is not something for you even for the price they are asking for. Also sometimes it seems to be animated and then not again. Uh, the asking price is for euros and in my opinion, for this price, the game is not that bad. I'd say you can recommend it if you are able to sustain through the tutorial and going to the nitty gritty the game has to offer. That's basically it, ladies and gentlemen. No, I want to exit. Thank you. I wish to continue, yeah. That's been Cubasys, ladies and gentlemen. Currently 4 euros, or your regional equivalent. And in my opinion, it made it first try. Close. Close enough. So, this has been another first try, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. My name has been Nick. 
and I shall see you next time.